Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I will be showing how to make your Windows 10 computer look more like a Windows Vista or Windows 7 computer. Now this is purely cosmetic and it should not impact the performance of your computer very much. And each one of these tools and steps we go through is optional. So you can pick and choose what you would like to do and what you want to change. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the Cortana search bar as well as the task view and disable web searching through the start menu down here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on our task bar down at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to left click on show task view button so that will hide the task view button. And now I'm going to head over to the search bar here. Right underneath the home icon there's a little gear icon, left click on that. And now under search online and include web results, switch that to the off position so when you're searching the start menu it won't come up with online search queries. Make sure that's turned off. Um, as you can see down here now it just says search windows whereas before it said search the web and windows. Now close out of that and now go back over to our taskbar, right click on that. Now go up to search and then left click next to the word hidden. That'll hide the Cortana search bar. However, you don't have to worry. You can still search for items using the start button. Just clicking on that and then you can just type in whatever you're looking to find. So even though you don't see a bar right away, just start typing. Now I'm going to install the IOBIT start button to replace the Windows 10 start button. Some of you might be aware of this as this was popular when Windows 8 was released. I personally use this on my own computer. So we have the startup wizard up and running. We're going to click on next, so left click. Left click on accept. Select next. And now if you do not want to install advanced system care alongside this program, left click deselect this option. However, if you want to install advanced system care, that's fine, but that is not important to what we are doing here today. So that would just be installing an additional program. So left click on finish. And now start menu E. Now we can select what kind of start button we were looking for, at least in terms of what it's going to look like. I'm going to left click on the classic start button and then I'm going to click apply and OK. And we can see our start button down here it looks just like a Windows 7 start button. If we left click on that, we can see our star menu has definitely changed and resembles a much greater appeal to people that really like Windows 7. And if we want to modify settings even further, we can right click on the start button again. And now left click on settings. Now underneath style, you can affect the transparency of the start menu. And we can also left click on classic Windows 7 style. You get a little bit more of a hybrid of two different colors going on. And you can also change your transparency. So we could do a flat style and then make it a little bit more transparent. Under general, we can show how many programs we're looking to display. Under menu, we can show certain items or commands as a link. We could show them in the menu or we could not show them at all and it's very easy to change your preference through here just click on apply and OK when you're finished and you see now we have a more transparent arrow look to our start menu here now the next thing I'm going to do is going to seem kind of obvious I'm just going to change our desktop background to the Windows 7 default background I actually already have the image on the desktop I'm just going to set it as the desktop background so now it's looking even more like Windows 7. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the desktop and then I'm going to left click on personalize and then I'm going underneath background I'm going to left click on colors you can select any color you would like or you could automatically pick an accent color from the background I'm going to switch this to the on position so it'll better match the desktop background that we were using. And I'm also going to turn show color on, start taskbar and action center. I'm going to turn that on. 
so there we go guys our computer resembles Windows 7 a lot more than it did when we started and there are other ways to make it a little bit more complex however I'm just trying to keep it simple for the purpose of this review so I hope this video helped you out and I will see you in the next tutorial goodbye